The 90 Day Fiancé franchise has showcased many successful romances, but it has also featured a number of highly incompatible couples, and it's time to talk about those mismatched pairs. The extended franchise has displayed messy splits and divorces due to couples clashing for various reasons. There is plenty to learn about the ill-suited duos of the franchise and why they were ultimately not meant to be. One of the most common complaints franchise couples get is that they have big age gaps. Couples such as Juliana Custodio and Michael Yesen proved that significant age gaps can't interfere with genuine love. However, many other couples haven't been able to overcome their age differences. Age gaps are especially complicated when younger men are interested in starting a family with their older female partners. On the flip side, sometimes younger spouses aren't ready to take on the duty of being stepparents to their older spouse's children. There are other reasons why couples aren't well suited for each other. Sometimes, one half of a couple is considered to be out of the other's league. Less superficial issues that lead to serious relationship obstacles relate to where cast members are at in their lives, including their future goals, current maturity levels, and expectations for their relationships. Financial issues, cultural differences, and fidelity problems in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise have also ruined relationships. Lastly, some couples were flat-out incompatible and shouldn't have even started dating in the first place. Muhammad Jabali and Danielle Mullins Muhammad Jabali and Danielle Jabali, nee Mullins, were a rather notorious and mismatched pair. Older American mother Danielle brought her Tunisian spouse to join her in the United States, despite the couple's clear incompatibility. Though some couples have made their age gap relationships work, there were many reasons why Muhammad and Danielle were not meant to be. Muhammad lacked sexual compatibility with Danielle, as he infamously declared that her intimate habits were a turnoff. Danielle was also revealed to be concealing debt, which made Muhammad furious. Overall, the couple's divorce came as a surprise to no one. The only shocking thing is that Muhammad and Danielle managed to become cordial with each other after their disastrous marriage. Big Ed Brown and Rosemary Vega Big Ed Brown and Rosemary Vega baffled viewers with their relationship on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days. Rose was significantly younger than her American partner, as well as greatly out of his league. The single mother, who went on to become a successful model and influencer, was also living in a completely different world than her older American boyfriend. Big Ed was highly critical of Rose and insulted aspects of her appearance, as well as her impoverished living situation. Viewers found that Big Ed treated Rose in an extremely disrespectful manner, which led to her dumping him. The star is considered equally mismatched to his 90DF fiancé Liz Woods, whom he pursued on 90 Day, The Single Life. Mike Youngquist and Natalie Mordetseva Mike Youngquist and Natalie Mordetseva had completely different personalities, goals, beliefs, and values. Unfortunately, they were not able to realize they were incompatible before tying the knot. Natalie is a devout Christian and a strict non-meat-eater who rarely drinks. She values communication. Meanwhile, Mike enjoys meat and alcohol and believes in aliens. 
He made no effort to meet Natalie's emotional needs and work out their communication issues. Furthermore, Natalie definitely considered herself to be better than Mike in many aspects, including looks and intelligence. Rather than bring out the very best in each other, Mike and Natalie clashed and argued until their eventual separation was announced at the 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Tell All? Larissa Lisa and Colt Johnson Larissa Lisa and Colt Johnson are another infamous franchise couple who messily divorced. Brazilian firecracker Larissa immediately shook up Colt's life when she arrived to marry the American mama's boy. Larissa's explosive attitude was further aggravated by Colt's constant passivity, making the couple unable to communicate. Larissa also clashed horribly with Colt's family, which was a major issue since Colt lived with his mother, Debbie Johnson. Debbie's equal dislike of Larissa strained her marriage to Colt. However, it was ultimately Larissa's physical violence and Colt's wandering eye that brought real trouble. These serious issues were impossible to ignore and spelled the end of Larissa and Colt's ill-fated marriage. Zed Hakimi and Rebecca Parrott Zed Hakimi and Rebecca Parrott formed a rather mismatched pair as their marriage saw 27-year-old Zeed becoming a grandfather. Zeed and Rebecca appear incompatible for multiple reasons, although they are still married. Rebecca didn't make efforts to understand Zeed's conservative culture or his religion. Rebecca also put her needs above Zeed. She was insensitive to his desire to marry before a religious holiday since she wanted her dream wedding despite her previous failed marriages. Furthermore, Rebecca's intense jealousy issues have complicated the couple's relationship. Rebecca doesn't appear to be compatible with the younger man since she appears insecure due to their age gap. Andrew Kenton and Amira Laliosa. Andrew Kenton and Amira Laliosa are another 90 Day Fiancé couple who made no sense to fans. Viewers were puzzled as to what glamorous and soft-spoken French beauty Amira saw in the vindictive American daycare worker. Andrew came across as far too nerdy for the stylish beauty. However, it was his treatment of Amira that made it clear to viewers the couple should not be together. Andrew and Amira had difficulty arranging a way to meet, which ultimately resulted in a split. Andrew then did everything in his power to ruin Amira's reputation, which resulted in viewers declaring Amira far too good for Andrew. Molly Hopkins and Luis Mendez. Molly Hopkins and Luis Mendez are a final pair who absolutely should never have married. The younger Dominican Republic man had zero interest in being a stepfather to Molly's daughters. In fact, Luis angered the girls and was accused of treating Molly's eldest daughter inappropriately. Meanwhile, Luis and Molly's personalities created endless conflict and drama. The former couple was involved in countless screaming matches which ultimately resulted in Molly and Luis divorcing. Fortunately, Molly found love with Brooklyn cop Kelly on The Single Life, though 90 Day Fiancé fans continue to question Molly's taste in men.